So at the beginning of this past school year, Woodland Hills decided to adopt STEM across their entire span of grades K to 12. It was a really ambitious project but it was one that was pulled off successfully because of the leadership of the administration, the partnership with the teachers, and of course, the energy and the enthusiasm of the students. If you take a look at what the research tells us about STEM implementation, we know that students at a very young age form an opinion about their proficiency in STEM subjects. Oftentimes, students as young as four or five years old determine that you know, math is something that they're not good at, or science or coding is something that they can never see themselves doing. That's why it's so important to establish meaningful programs with young students who can interact with them before they form that negative perception about their, uh, about their efficiency in STEM subjects. That's exactly what we were able to do here at Woodland Hills, beginning in K-6 to in the elementary buildings. We did professional development at the beginning of the school years to show the teachers how to actually use the products themselves and they introduce them to the curriculum. And to be quite honest with you, the implementation went better than I could have ever even expected it. The really unique thing about what Woodland Hills was able to do was implement STEM into their core academic classroom. So it was exposed to all students. It wasn't a special, it wasn't something that was done once every five, six or seven days. It wasn't something that was done as an after schools club. It was actually integrated into the regular school day, into the core academic classrooms. And that is something that is very special and very unique. When I do my travels and I visit school districts, not just here in the US, but all over the world, this is what every school wants to do with STEM. They wanna be able to implement STEM into the core day. So again, it's not an add-on. It actually gives students an authentic application of what they're doing in their science class and their math classes and see how those things are connected to the real world. And that's what Woodland Hills was able to actually accomplish. You know, no teacher enjoys answering the question, when am I gonna use this in the real world or am I actually gonna use this skill in life? What you saw here at Woodland Hills was elementary students talking about how they wanna become engineers, talking about how they're able to not get frustrated by failing at things, talking about how they were able to collaborate with their friends. And that was what was so amazing about the implementation here at Woodland Hills and not just in the elementary, but also in the middle school and the high school. One of the things that I'm most proud of that they did here at Woodland Hills was the lending library at the high school. Community engagement is such an important thing for any school initiative. So having not just the teachers and the students and the administration on board, but also the parents. So everyone is talking about what great things are happening in the classroom. What we were able to do with the high school library was allow parents to go to the library and check out a robotics kit. So when their son or daughter was talking about all the amazing things that they're doing with their Vex Go kit or their Vex 123 kit, now the parents could actually engage those kids with their children and have those shared experiences and then form a shared dialogue around STEM. So the, when the, we look at things in research talking about the lack of diversity in STEM fields and the lack of diversity in STEM jobs, a major reason why is because you don't have those conversations when kids are in first, second, or third grade about those particular topics because they're not exposed to them. But that's what we're able to do here. And this is why, again, it's not really an achievement gap. Instead, it's an opportunity gap. And what Woodland Hills was able to do was really to close that opportunity gap through the hard work of the teachers, through the hard work of the students, and through the amazing leadership of the administration here at Woodland Hills.